to the United States, it was very uh, hard for me. Yes. Because I did not speak the language. When I, when I first uh, got here, my mom enrolled me, enrolled my brothers, my sisters, and me in, uh, at school. I started at Bonso Middle School. I did not know a word of English uh, back then. I could not even order uh, food in the cafeteria. Imagine going to the cafeteria and not be able to uh, order anything at the, in the menu. So the only, the only, uh, the only uh, word that I could say was uh, choose food. That's a, that was the, the meal that I was uh, choose at the cafeteria. So I ate that for a long time until I got sick. I got sick eating because cheese burgers all the time. When I graduated, when I graduated from Fulbright High School in 1996, I went straight to work. At that point, I thought college college could wait. I did not think it was that important back then. Plus, none of my, none of my, uh, none of my friends in high school, uh, none of them were going to college. I came from non-educated parents, and uh, how could they guide me? Uh, how could they tell me what to do if they didn't, uh, if they did not have experience at school? I started working in a casino. It wasn't until then when I realized how important it was to really uh, learn English. For the first time, for the first time, I was working with different kinds of people, not just my fellow Mexicans. My manager told me, told me once, she said, you know, Pablo, you should become a chef. However, I didn't, know, I didn't know how to write. I had to write recipes and fix uh, people's schedules in order for me to be a chef. So I decided that I have to come back to school again. I enrolled in ESL classes. It was difficult to keep up with the classes. I have to, I have to pay for them. I have to work a lot of hours at the casino also and my schedule changed all the time. I started and stopped taking classes about one semester per year. When the, when the labor union started organizing, organizing at my casino, I got involved. I met people who were challenging me in a, in a different way. They pushed me inspired me. My co-worker Francis had complete college. Finally, I met somebody that finished college. He told me, he told me that I should go back to school. It took me four, five more years to finally sign up for school. I have taken ESL literature and writing and I am now taking ESL 14 grammar skills. I really regret not going, not going back to school and waited so long. I think if I had a study in the past, I could do my job better now. For example, it's still hard for me to send emails and talk to, my, to management in the phone. I want to become a leader at my job and, uh, and be promoted eventually. My advice to all the ESL students is that they will, they will always have challenges that will make them consider leaving school. Remember, English is not easy, but it's not impossible either. You should continue taking classes 
It takes time, but it, it takes time to learn. The most important thing is to practice. Don't be shy. Speak English. Talk to your friends at school. Practice at work. Practice at home when you when you less expect it. Your English will improve. Thank you so much for listening for my story and have a wonderful time. Good evening, everybody. My name is Lucero Cruz. I came to the United States 24 years ago. I have three children all grown up. I have learned and done so many things coming and living here in the United States. Tonight, I want to talk about my journey from Mexico to the United States and how I came to be who I am today. When my husband and I decided, decided to make this long trip, we were thinking about our family and the family that we left in Mexico. It was difficult to take that decision because this was another totally different world from, from that we had. Coming here, we are really starting all over again learning another language, another, another culture, and different lifestyle. Our idea, our idea was to live here for one or two years only, but here we are 24 years later, in this great country which has, which has given us the opportunity to accomplish many goals or dreams, but also that of our children's dreams. In the beginning, our biggest problem was the English language. Wherever we went, we found that big wall. We had trouble trying to enroll our children to school, and trouble taking our children to homework. When we had meeting at the school, it was impossible to interact with teacher or give any opinion because of the language. Sometimes I felt guilty because I didn't want to go to the or I was empty. I was afraid to make mistakes. Happily, they were able to adapt and little by little they were, they were learning English. Now they speak Spanish and English perfectly. But for me, I have learned that it's not enough to understand English, but to speak it all. Speak, speak it also. It is very important that my children do not lose their identity and the Spanish language. They learn not to learn two cultures and two languages for which they are proud of. When we moved to San Marcos, it was essential to speak English. I was looking for a place to learn it. We bought some cassettes and later CDs that would help, but they didn't work because there was always something to distract me like TV or my children ask, asking me for something. I was looking for something more formal. When someone told me about Palomar College ESL program, I wasn't sure about enrolling here because I thought that I would find only young people. Finally, I decided to try it, and it was exciting to return to the classroom and learn English as a second language. Learning English for all, for all immigrants it is not an option. It is a necessity if our purpose is to get ahead in life. English is the most important key to be successful in this country, and we need to embrace it. My advice, my advice to everyone is do not give up on learning English. Do it not only for the future, but also for the family's future. A person who speaks two languages is worth two people who can, who can function in two societies. A person who speaks two languages has a chance to get a better job. In the course of my learning, I met some teachers. They were outstanding teachers who really, who really made a difference in my education. They were Maru, Marute Hedge and Marcel Castillo. Mrs. Hedge teaches ESL career track. Her class 
was the first time that I made a presentation in front of people. It was a big challenge for me because of my lack of English. Mr. Castillo was my professor for ESL 55 and now he's teaching, he's teaching me advanced grammar. I, I admire his passion that he has in class. He also shows a dedication to teaching and interest for which each lesson can be learned and understand by students in general. In closing, I would like to say that the ESL program and the teachers here at Parma College have helped me to be more confident, sociable, and more expressive. Without the ESL program and the dedicated ESL teacher, I wouldn't be here talking to you about my social life. Through the ESL program and because of dedicated teachers, I encourage all of you to continue your ESL training and to invite friends and relatives today for ESL classes in order to be successful and to be having a better lifestyle, lifestyle than what you have in the past from your family. Thank you everybody for listening to our stories. I, born in, I was born in Syria, the birds called my country Jasmine City. There I spent the most, be uh, the most uh, beautiful days of my life. I got my degree from University of, the, of Damascus, Syria in the Middle East. It's a simple and beautiful country with good friendly people. I feel warm there and the family atmosphere is nice. I hope that peace will return to there. And every day I pray for that. I came here with my family two years ago. I have a daughter. Everything is different here from Syria. The language, people, roads and houses. America is enjoyable, organized. You can fight freedom. You can express your opinion and everyone uh, is free respect each other. I found it dif difficult to deal with people because I didn't understand everything and I didn't speak well. I came to Baltimore College for learning English and I will complete two studies in the Department of Child Development. I want to thank Baltimore College and my teacher Mr. Kevin. I learned a lot, of, uh, a lot from the experience and uh, and uh, the vocabulary. I will miss my friend and thank you. I am in Mr. Kelly class. I am here to talk to you about my future career. My future career is child development. Child development is a process that involves learning, talking, skipping and tying shoes. Every child goes through this process and they learn these abilities. Child development is defined as the process of the growth of a child from infancy to adulthood. It is a term used to describe the study or observation of this process. I pick this career because when my kids start preschool in the Head Start program, I had the opportunity to be a volunteer and I learned, I learned a little about child development and I fell in love with it. I saw that I like working with children. Now in Palomar College, I have the opportunity to study this career and I will keep going after my English studies. Thank you very much. And I'm going to talk about my experience here. When I came to this country a few years ago, I realized that uh, we have opportunities here if we speak English. That's why I, I started to go to school. These two past years that I have been studying here, it has been a challenge for me. I began in level one, and I started with a little bit English. I remember my first day here. When I went to class, I was nervous, but with the pass of the weeks, I was feeling uh, more comfortable. 
Every day I came to school and tried to not miss class and always be on time. It was difficult at first because the pronunciation and writing, but every night I took my book to practice. When I was very confused, I went to the tutoring center and then they helped me with everything. I used to go twice a week. Uh, every level is different. In level two, I was more comfortable with the grammar. As the time passed, I got more knowledge and I tried to do everything good. I did very good with the quizzes and I always want to learn more and more. I never thought about giving up. I saw a lot of people that only went at school for five weeks, others one. At first, we started like 30, but at the end of the semester, only a few made it. And that story was repeated every semester. Uh, when I went to level three, I was more familiar with everything. I remember we did interviews to other levels and that was good for us because we practiced our English and that way we, we, we practice our English. Uh, finally, I went to level four and I did everything like the past semesters. I studied hard, you know, time to class, participate, and I did everything I could. Uh, in each, in each uh, level, I challenged myself I took summer classes every time I could. All the teachers that I have gotten, they have taught me very they, they have taught me very well. I have made a good friends here. With my friends, we help each other in every class. Because this is not only you doing this, there is more people with you. You can learn more quickly if you ask questions. If you, if you don't ask questions, you are not going to learn. If I had a question, I asked them to the teacher and she explains to me. It was embarrassing when we were talking with our partners because we have fear to speak English. We thought, what is he going to say about our pronunciation? I don't know why we think like that because we are here to learn English. My friends told me one day, uh, you remember everything. My friends showed me respect because every day I was here studying English, uh, no matter what. Sometimes I came sick. It's not easy to be here every night. But if we want something, we have to fight for it. I have goals in my life and this is one of them. I want to learn English very well and get a better job in the future. That's why I'm here. And I want to say thank you to my teachers, uh, to Sana David, uh, Elizabeth Lord, Carol McDougman, and Katrina Tamura, and Trivian Thompson. Thanks to these teachers, I have learned the English I know now. Uh, that's it. Thank you. I will tell you today about my experience at Palmer College. Actually, when I was in Syria, I thought I am a good English speaker. But when I came to the United States, I felt shocked. I walked quickly on the street, and uh, I was afraid to talk with anyone and didn't know how to answer. Uh, I didn't go shop by myself. Uh, I didn't see or talk with anyone. I put myself in a bottle. Then I moved into the house uh, close to Palomar College and I took the best decision of my life since I came to the United States that I became a student at Palomar College. Then all my life began to change. The first weeks was very difficult, but Mr. Chain, he always helped me and uh, uh, he, he always helped me to, to overcome this difficult. And now I go shopping by myself oh. and uh, okay. I feel I didn't feel shy, but not now. <laughs> and I walk and talk with the people on the street, not because I know how to speak, 
but because I know if I speak wrong, the people will help me. They didn't laugh at me. They helped me and uh, to learn and to speak correctly. Because actually, American people is very, very lovely and very friendly. And now I stand it up here and tell you about my experience at Palmer College. This is my first class in United States, in United States, and I think this is a biggest proof that is, the program is very, very good. In the end, I want to say thank you to my family because they always support me, and thank you very much, Mr. Lee. You always give me the, uh, you always give me the motivation to be the best. You always help us. Thank you so much. I've been here in this country for a long time. I've been here for a long time. And I never come to school until I used to read the books. I hang out with people speaking English. And that's why I thought I don't need to come to school. But then I realized that I need to, I need to work hard. Um, I started coming to the school about around couple semesters ago and I started with Mrs. Carroll in second level. And uh, it was really hard for me to write, even though I speak a little bit, it was hard for me. And then I moved to level three with and then it was still a little hard for me. But people thought I speak in English, I ask it no a lot of English, but it's not. And when I started when I started writing, I knew I I have to do a lot of work. When at the end of the semester, I say, Katrina, are you sure I'm ready to level four? She said, you are capable of asking. I remember Katrina told me that. And then I started level four. And then I, I've been studying hard, like two classes, uh, six to seven, seven to nine thirty. And I know it's not easy. And now I, I, I find out that I'm ready to level five. I asked Mr. Mr. Lee, are you sure, Mr. Lee, I'm ready to, <laughs> to level five? He said, you ask her, you are capable too. And, and now I realize that I've been working hard for it's worth it. Even though I don't know if I'm doing a lot, people know, know that I've been doing really well. And this encouraged me to come. I'm learning a lot around with us experienced people. When experienced people tell you that you are ready, you are capable, you should be give it a try. If, he, if he, the teacher told you you're ready for another level, just give it a try. And other people notice you, you, your special talent in you, or um, you got a knowledge, you know. It, 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 that's very important. If somebody told me, experienced people told me, that you are ready, I'm ready, I give it a try. And thank you, Mr. Lee. Thank you, Katrina. But level three, Mr. Mrs. Carroll. And thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Practice. Don't be shy. Speak English. Practice at work. Practice at home with you. English will improve. English is the most important key to be successful in this country, and we need to embrace it. Now, in Palomar College, I have the opportunity to study this career, and I, I'll keep going after my English studies. I took the best decision of my life since I came to the United States, that I became a student at Palomar College. And now I realize that I've been working hard for it. It's worth it. English is not easy, but it's not impossible either.